एवरी वन वेलकम टू एन सी आर टी ऑडियो बुक यूनिट फिफ्टीन पॉलीमर्स को पॉलीमराइजेशन हैज बिन यूज बाई नेचर इन पॉलीपेप्टाइड्स विच मे कंटेन एज मैनी एज ट्वेंटी डिफरेंट अमाइनो एसिड्स केमिस्ट आर स्टिल फार बिहाइंड डू यू थिंक दैट डेली लाइफ उड बीन ईजियर एंड कलरफुल विदाउट द डिस्कवरी एंड वेरिड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पॉलीमर्स The use of polymers in the manufacture of plastic buckets, cups, and saucers, children's toys, packaging bags, synthetic clothing materials, automobile tires, gears, and seals, electrical insulating materials, and machine parts has completely revolutionized the daily life as well as the industrial scenario. Indeed, the polymers are the backbone of four major industries: viz., plastics, elastomers, fibers, and paints and varnishes. The word polymer is coined from two Greek words. Poly means many, and mer means unit or part. The term polymer is defined as very large molecules having high molecular mass, ten power three to ten power seven u. These are also referred to as micro molecules, which are formed by joining of repeating structural units on a large scale. The repeating structural units are derived from some simple and relative. and reactive molecules known as monomers and are linked to eat each other by covalent bonds the process of formation of polymers from respective monomers is called polymerization 15.1 classification of polymers there are several ways of classification of polymers based on some special considerations one of the common classification of polymers is based on source from which polymer is derived Under this type of classification there are three sub categories 1 natural polymers these polymers are found in plants and animals examples are proteins cellulose starch some resins and rubber 2 semi synthetic polymers cellulose derivatives as cellulose acetate rayon and cellulose nitrate etc are the usual examples of this sub category 3 synthetic polymers A variety of synthetic polymers as plastic, polythene, synthetic fibers, nylon six six, and synthetic rubbers, Buna S, are examples of man-made polymers extensively used in daily life as well as in industry. Polymers can also be classified on the basis of their structure, molecular forces, or modes of polymerization. Fifteen point two types of polymerization reactions. There are two broad types of polymerization reaction. That is. the addition or chain growth polymerization and condensation or step growth polymerization 15.2.1 addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization in this type of polymerization the molecules of the same monomer or different monomers add together on a large scale to form a polymer the monomers used are unsaturated compounds example alkenes alkadienes and their derivatives This mode of polymerization leads to an increase in chain length and chain growth can take place through the formation of either free radicals or ionic species. However, the free radical governed addition or chain growth polymerization is the most common mode. Mechanism of addition polymerization. 1. Free radical mechanism. A variety of alkenes or dienes and their derivatives are polymerized in the presence of a free radical generating initiator. catalyst like benzoyl peroxide acetyl peroxide tert-butyl peroxide etc for example the polymerization of ethene to polyethene consists of heating or exposing to light a mixture of ethene with a small amount of benzoyl peroxide initiator the process starts with the addition of phenyl free radical formed by the peroxide to the ethene double bond thus generating a new and larger free radical this step is called chain initiating step As this radical reacts with another molecule of ethene another bigger sized radical is formed the repetition of this sequence with new and bigger radicals carries the reaction forward and the step is termed as chain propagating step ultimately at some stage the product radical thus formed reacts with another radical to form the polymerized product this step is called the chain terminating step the sequence of steps involved in the formation of polyethene are depicted as follows chain initiating steps benzoyl peroxide gives phenyl radical chain propagating step chain terminating step for termination of long chain 
these free radicals can combine in different ways to form polyethene one mode of termination of chain is shown as under the addition polymers formed by the polymerization of a single monomeric species are known as homopolymers for example polyethene discussed above is a homopolymer the polymers made by addition polymerization from two different monomers are termed as copolymers buna s which is formed by polymerization of buta 13 diene and styrene is an example of copolymer formed by addition polymerization some important addition polymer polymers a polythene polythenes are linear or slightly branched long chain molecules these are capable of repeatedly softening on heating and hardening on cooling and are thus thermoplastic polymers there are two types of polythene as given below first low density polythene it is obtained by polymerization of ethene under high pressure of 1000 to 2000 atmosphere at a temperature of 350 kelvin to 5670 kelvin in the presence of traces of dioxygen or a peroxide initiator catalyst the low density polythene ldp is obtained through the free radical addition and hydrogen atom abstraction it has highly branched structure these polymers have a straight chain structure with some branches as shown below low density polythene is chemically inert and tough but flexible and a poor conductor of electricity hence it is used in the insulation of electricity carrying wires and manufacture of squeeze bottles toys and flexible pipes second high density polythene it is formed when addition polymerization of ethene takes place in a hydrocarbon solvent in the presence of a catalyst such as triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride ziegler netta catalyst at a temperature of 333 kelvin to 343 kelvin and under a pressure of 6 to 7 atmospheres high density polythene hdp thus produced consists of linear molecules as shown below and has a high density due to close packing such polymers are also called linear polymers high density polymers are also chemically inert and more tough and hard it is used for manufacturing buckets dustbins bottles pipes etc b polytetrafluoroethene teflon teflon is manufactured by heating tetrafluoroethene with a free radical or per sulfate catalyst at high pressures it is chemically inert and resistant to attack by corrosive reagents it is used in making oil seals and gaskets and also used for non stick surface coated utensils c polyacrylonitrile the addition polymerization of acrylonitrile in presence of a peroxide catalyst leads to the formation of polyacrylonitrile polyacrylonitrile is used as a substitute for wool in making commercial fibers as orlon or acrylon 15.2.2 condensation polymerization or a step growth polymerization this is step this type of polymerization generally involves a repetitive condensation reaction between two bifunctional or trifunctional monomeric units these polycondensation reactions may result in the loss of some simple molecules as water alcohol hydrogen chloride etc and lead to the formation of high molecular mass condensation polymers In these reactions the product of each step is again a bifunctional species and the sequence of condensation goes on since each step produces a distinct functionalized species and is independent of each other this process is also called as step growth polymerization the formation of terylene or dacron by the interaction of ethylene glycol and triphthalic acid is an example of this type of polymerization some important condensation polymers a polyamides These polymers possessing amide linkages are important examples of synthetic fibers and are termed as nylons. The general method of preparation consists of the condensation polymerization of diamines with dicarboxylic acids or condensation of amino acids or their lactams. Nylon. First nylon 66. It is prepared by condensation polymerization of hexamethylene diamine with adipic acid under high pressure and at high temperature. Nylon 66 is fiber forming solid it possesses high tensile strength this characteristic can be attributed to the strong intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding these strong forces also lead to close packing of chains and thus impart crystalline nature nylon 66 is used in making sheets brushel for brushes and in textile industry second nylon 6 it is obtained by heating caprolactam with water at a high temperature Nylon 6 is used for the manufacture of tire cords, fabrics and ropes. B polyesters. 
These are the polycondensation products of dicarboxylic acids and diols. Decronoterylene is the best known example of polyesters. It is manufactured by heating a mixture of ethylene glycol and triphthalic acid at 420 to 460 Kelvin in the presence of zinc acetate antimony trioxide catalyst as per the reaction given earlier. Decron fiber terylene is a crease resistant and is used in blending with cotton and wool fibers and also as glass reinforcing materials in safety helmets etc. C. Phenol formaldehyde polymer, bakelite and related polymers. Phenol formaldehyde polymers are the oldest synthetic polymers. These are obtained by condensation reaction of phenol with formaldehyde in the presence of either an acid or a base catalyst. The reaction starts with the initial formation of ortho and or para hydroxymethyl phenol derivatives which further react with phenol to form compounds having rings joined to each other through CH2 groups. The initial product could be a linear product, Novolac, used in pens. Novolac on heating with formaldehyde undergoes cross-linking to form an infusible solid mass called bakelite. It is thermosetting polymer which cannot be reused or remolded. Thus, bakelite is formed by cross-linking of linear chains of the polymer, Novolac. Bakelite is used for making combs, phonographs, records, electrical switches, and handles of various utensils. D. Melamine formaldehyde polymer Melamine formaldehyde polymer is formed by the condensation polymerization of melamine and formaldehyde. It is used in the manufacture of unbreakable cockery. Copolymerization Copolymerization is a polymerization reaction in which a mixture of more than one monomeric species is allowed to polymerize and form a copolymer. The copolymer can be made not only by chain growth polymerization but by step growth polymerization also. It contains multiple units of each monomer used in the same polymeric chain. For example, a mixture of buta-1,3-diene and styrene can form a copolymer. Copolymers have properties quite different from homopolymers. For example, buta-diene styrene copolymer is quite tough and is a good substitute for natural rubber. It is used for the manufacture of auto tires, floor tires, footwear, components, cable insulation, etc. 15.2.4 Rubber 1. Natural rubber. Rubber is a natural polymer and possesses elastic properties. It is also termed as elastomeric polymer. In elastomeric polymers, the polymer chains are held together by the weak intermolecular forces. These weak binding forces permit the polymer to be stretched. A few cross links are introduced in between the chains which help the polymer to retract to its original position after the force is released. Rubber has a variety of uses. It is manufactured from rubber latex which is a colloidal dispersion of rubber in water. This latex is obtained from the rubber tree which is found in India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Malaysia and South America. Natural rubber may be considered as a linear polymer of isoprene 2 methyl 13 butadiene and is also called as cis 14 polyisoprene. The cis polyisoprene molecule consists of various chains held together by weak van der Waal interactions and has a coiled structure. Thus, it can be stretched like a spring and exhibits elastic properties. Vulcanization of rubber. Natural rubber becomes soft at high temperature greater than 335 Kelvin and brittle at low temperature less than 283 Kelvin and shows high water absorption capacity. It is soluble in non-polar solvents and is non-resistant to attack by oxidizing agents. To improve upon these physical properties, a process of vulcanization is carried out. This process consists of heating a mixture of raw rubber with sulfur and an appropriate additive at a temperature range between 373 Kelvin to 415 Kelvin. On vulcanization, sulfur forms cross links at the reactive sites of double bonds and thus the rubber gets stiffened. In the manufacture of tire rubber, 5% of sulfur is used as a cross linking agent. The probable structures of vulcanized rubber molecules are depicted below. 2. Synthetic rubbers Synthetic rubber is any vulcanized rubber-like polymer which is capable of getting a stretch to twice its length. However, it returns to its original shape and size as soon as the external stretching force is released. Thus, synthetic rubbers are either homopolymers of 1,3-butadiene derivatives or copolymers of 1,3-butadiene or its derivatives with another unsaturated monomer. Preparation of synthetic rubbers 1. Neoprene Neoprene or polychloroprene is formed by the free radical polymerization of chloroprene. It has superior resistance to vegetable and mineral oils. 
It is used for manufacturing conveyor belts, gaskets, and hoses. Two, Buna N. You have already studied about Buna S in section fifteen point one three. Buna N is obtained by the copolymerization of one three buta one three diene and acrylonitrile in the presence of a peroxide catalyst. It is a resistance to the action of petrol, lubricating oil, and organic solvents. It is used in making oil seals, tank lining, etc. Fifteen point three molecular mass of polymers. Polymer properties are closely related to their molecular mass, size, and structure. The growth of the polymer chain during their synthesis is dependent upon the availability of the monomers in the reaction mixture. Thus, the polymer sample contains chains of varying lengths, and hence its molecular mass is always expressed as an average. The molecular mass of polymers can be determined by chemical and physical methods. Fifteen point four biodegradable polymers. A large number of polymers are quite resistant to the environmental degradation processes and are thus responsible for the accumulation of polymeric solid waste materials. These solid waste cause acute environmental problems and remain undegraded for quite a long time. In view of the general awareness and concern for the problems created by the polymeric solid waste, certain new biodegradable synthetic polymers have been designed and developed. These polymers contain functional groups similar to the functional groups present in biopolymers. Aliphatic polyesters are one of the important classes of biodegradable polymers. Some important examples are given below: one poly beta hydroxy butyrate co beta hydroxy valerate (EHBV). It is obtained by the copolymerization of three hydroxy butanoic acid and three hydroxy pentanoic acid. PHBV is used in specialty packaging, orthopedic devices, and in controlled release of drugs. PHBV undergoes bacterial degradation in the environment. Two nylon to nylon six. It is an alternative polyamide copolymer of glycine and amino caproic acid and is biodegradable. Can you write the structure of this polymer? Polymers of commercial importance. Beside the polymers already discussed, some other commercially important polymers, along with their structures and uses, are given below in Table fifteen point one. Table fifteen point one. Some other commercially important polymers. Polypropene monomer propene. Uses manufacture of ropes, toys, pipes, fibers, etc. Polystyrene monomer styrene uses as insulator, wrapping material, manufacture of toys, radio, and television cabinets. Polyvinyl chloride (PVC) monomer vinyl chloride uses manufacture of raincoats, handbags, vinyl flooring, water pipes. Urea formaldehyde resin mo monomer urea formaldehyde uses for making unbreakable cups and laminated sheets. Glyptol, monomer ethylene glycol and th phthalic acid. Uses manufacture of paints and lacquers. Bakelite, monomer phenol and formaldehyde. Uses for making combs, electrical switches, handles of utensils and computer discs. Summary: Polymers are defined as high molecular mass macromolecules, which consist of repeating a structure units derived from the corresponding monomers. These polymers may be of natural or synthetic origin and are classified in a number of ways. In the presence of an organic peroxide initiator, the alkenes and their derivatives undergo addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization through a free radical mechanism. Polythene, Teflon, Orlon, etc., are formed by addition polymerization of an appropriate alkene or its derivative. Condensation polymerization reactions are shown by the interaction of bi or poly functional monomers containing NH2OH and C double bond OH groups. This type of polymerization proceeds through the elimination of certain simple molecules as H2O, CH3OH, etc. Formaldehyde reacts with phenol and melamine to form the corresponding condensation polymer product. The condensation polymerization progresses through step by step and is also called as step growth polymerization. Nylon, bakelite, and dacron are some of the important examples of condensation polymers. However, a mixture of two unsaturated monomers exhibit copolymerization. And forms a copolymer containing multiple units of each monomer. Natural rubber is a cis one fro polyisoprene and can be made more tough by the process of vulcanization with sulfur. Synthetic rubbers are usually obtained by copolymerization of alkene and one three butyl diene derivatives. In view of the potential environmental hazards of synthetic polymeric waste, certain biodegradable polymers such as PHBV and nylon to nylon six are developed as alternatives. That's all for today. Thank you.